you a very quick example. Yeah. Obviously, um, when you first load it up, you can see it's sort of very space invaders. It um, the basic gameplay is to kill the aliens, um, but uh, there are multiplayers going on, lots of different score stuff going on, and the levels get much, much, much more complicated. One of the key things is that you can sort of upgrade your ship as you go. Um, if we turn on debug mode here. Um, there's a variety of different weapons that sort of appear during the game that make the first level very yeah. simple. Um, I'm going to add all of them because it tends to crash, but um, you see there, uh, as you go through, you get money uh, and, and upgrade points essentially uh, to upgrade it's all these different quite things. A beast of a. Yes, it's hard to see on here probably, but yeah. there's stuff like shields, gun power, extra bullets, smart bombs, different add ons, recharges. And as you play through, uh, if we do this. <laughs> Power of, of debug. The game has a lot of levels. It has a lot of sort. It has a friends high oh, score right. leaderboard. Uh, it has um, general online leaderboards. I think about twenty different achievements. There's a lot of multiplier and score things going on in the background. Right, right, well, just, just to let you know, all these here now. So that's cool. Brilliant. Um, and as you go through. Uh, there are also challenge stages as well that sort of ask you to like improve your accuracy by only shooting and hitting stuff and that sort of thing. Um, and this one is again, yeah, it's cross by. It's coming out on all four systems. Um, it's sort of finished on all four systems now. Actually, we're um, submitting it. Should be out very start of May. Um, so May's a busy month. For very busy. Because um, uh, Mousecraft, I think, may be coming out in May as well. <laughs> That's not confirmed yet. These these two are definitely confirmed yeah. for May. Um, yeah, I'm obviously uh, destroying these guys now with my um, my cheatiness. Um, yeah, it's a very good, very twitchy, very action-y uh, base shooter. We wanted to bring it together with a pack, um, which we couldn't do, so we're sort of bringing it out slightly earlier by itself. Yeah. It won't be expensive, um, and it's just a really good sort of commuting diversion game, like playing it yeah. on the bus, on the on the train, like the kind of thing that the Vita sort of really made for. Um, that you can just pick up on a plane. I was playing this morning, just coming in here, um, and yeah, that's that's uh, Titan Attacks. Does it uh, track your friends' scores or...? Yes, it does. It has a uh, friends leaderboard, um, which almost certainly won't work at res, no. Um, <laughs> as far as the options are concerned, you can turn some of the stuff off. I'm not sure why you'd want to, but you can do if it makes yeah. you sick. <laughs> uh, music sound effects, that sort of thing. Um, and that's there, fairly simple controls. Um, and we've got... Um, there's some stuff we're doing with like the PlayStation Light bar as well to add some atmosphere and the PlayStation oh, nice. 4 touchpad, um, which you can see I can't show you on Vita. We're just trying to use the features of the system where we can really.